Fashion is pollution. Well, it may not sound fashionable, but fashionistas are aiming to reduce the environmental impact brought forth by the multi-billion dollar garment sector. Among them are the creme de la creme of Indian capital, New Delhi's fashionists. Their action of purchase and use of second-hand clothes may be a tiny drop in a massive ocean, but hipster shoppers in the capital New Delhi say their example is slowly shifting the throwaway attitudes rampant among India's middle class. I generally uh, come to Janpat or Sarojini and I've recently found uh, a thrift store in Chennai. Uh, and I think it's an environmentally conscious decision uh, because as it provides a wide variety of clothes and wide range of clothes uh, to choose from. New Delhi is dotted with markets offering second-hand clothes, a thrifty alternative for those on low wages or making an ethical choice. Despite having a vast and colorful market that brims with ethnic and Western wear, adored by millions in India and abroad, India lacks an effective system for recycling clothing. Tons of discarded clothing are often seen overflowing in towering landfills. Even after all of this year, there is no collection system in our country for clothing, zero. You cannot, there's no bin to give your clothes away. There is no segregation of clothing waste. The reason as to why all of this is had, had, you know, ending up in waterways and landfills at the moment is there's no way to collect it back. So these systems are now getting built while India is already the third largest consumer of fashion in the world. So there's a lot of work to do. A decade back, Tula was worried about the response from her customers when she told them that the clothes were from recycled fabrics. But now, there is a greater awareness of the importance of sustainability, and people are more open towards the concept. The idea of upcycling is to innovate on the material that already exists. So you're not disintegrating it into new material, you're not going back in process or heavy industrial processes to convert this into a new material. So the energy consumption in those processes are much lesser. You are adding value to something that already exists. For every person in this world, there is enough clothes that are already produced. And for the generations to come, there is enough garment that is already produced. Every year, uh, according to the numbers and the figures, there are about 80 to 100 billion garments that are still being produced every year. So it's important to, for us to be able to bring that change, it's important to circulate things that are already existing. And the only way to circulate them is to think about ways to rent, uh, to thrift, to repair. Many in India turned to thrift shopping after being restricted at home during the COVID-19 pandemic and finding online stores promoted on social media. Neha Bhatt first ran her second-hand clothes business on Instagram before opening a physical store in the capital New Delhi in 2022, which she asserts would not have been possible if it were not for the help of Instagram and because of climate awareness. With the whole Instagram, with the whole uh, climate awareness, the youngsters are very, very much aware of what it is and thrifting as a, uh, you know, plays a uh, part in their lives so that, you know, even if it's like second hand, even if it's surplus goods, you know, they are like, okay, you know, we are taking small steps towards, you know, being conscious. So I think when it comes to conscious consumerism, it, it is a level up. It, it's, it's on the scale of, um, you know, fast fashion versus thrifting. Of course, uh, thrifting has more brownie points. Um, and, and at the end of the day, I think it depends entirely on the consumer. You know, it's, it's at their will and uh, decision. But I feel we need more awareness around these concepts. Uh, definitely that is lacking. Of course, there are social media platforms that, they, that do their share of awareness on thrift stores and a lot of these platforms that are available. 
She says some brands were shifting to using natural textiles, including ones made from banana and pineapple fibers, in a bid to reduce their environmental impact. Effective resource management required tackling the mass generation of textiles in the first place. I think it's better for the pocket also and also for the environment and since our generation, Gen Z's, are more conscious towards uh, the environment so it's a better option plus there's a lot of options here in Delhi so. India is the world's fifth biggest garment exporter with trade worth 15 billion US dollars in 2023 according to the World Trade Organization. The industry employs 45 million people, nearly the same as the population of Spain. Eco-warriors and even the youth hoped that more people would consider this alternative to upscaling clothes to save resources that are shrinking and getting polluted in the world's most populous country, India.